What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I got a pretty exciting and interesting unboxing, styling, and full review. In today's video, I'm gonna be, again, styling, unboxing, and reviewing the very interesting, like I legit can't think of another word for these shoes. Ever so like hyped up, coveted, everybody kind of like has been sporting this shoe and everyone's like, in my opinion, everyone has been wanting this shoe right here. Inside this box is the Prada Cloudbus Thunder. So if you guys are new here, the way that my unboxing and styling and review videos usually go is I always put together three outfits for you guys ranging from like super casual to somewhat dressy and then after the styling portion we come back for just again a super like in-depth review and unboxing of the again Prada Cloudbus Thunder in the all black colorway. So yeah I'm super excited for this video. It's definitely an expensive shoe and it's definitely an acquired taste so if this video is not for you I have a ton of other videos that you guys can watch and check out but if this video is something you're interested in definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this and as always if you aren't already be sure to follow me on instagram it's just my name i'll like throw it up on the screen right here but yeah today's video Prada Cloud Bus Thunder styling and full review and unboxing. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be an interesting one so we'll sit back get cozy and let's get into the styling portion of this video And we're back. 
So hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed that styling portion and all of that good stuff. So now we're gonna dive into like all of the juicy details. We're gonna dive into like the really like nitty gritty. So the way that this video is gonna go is I'm gonna do an unboxing and then I'm gonna kind of break down everything like the price, my initial thoughts, like the sizing, cause the sizing is so weird in my opinion. And then I'm gonna talk about like the comfort level and just like the everyday use of this shoe. And then towards the end, I'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. So kind of diving in and starting with the unboxing of the Prada Cloud Bus Thunder. This is what the Prada shoe comes in. It kind of has like a texture like in the front and then it just says Prada with the Cloud Bus Thunder. I don't know if you would call it like a logo, but it's kind of like a design. So you go ahead and you open up the box set this guy down so inside the box the actual shoe is just wrapped in some really nice wrapping paper and it says prada in the front and then when you open it up the shoes are inside here so let me go ahead and take it out so this bad boy right here is again the Prada Cloud Bus Thunder in the all black colorway. As you guys can see, it's a very interesting and low key super obnoxious shoe. Kind of just like down to the whole design of the actual sneaker itself. Super big and super again obnoxious, chunky sole at the bottom. Very almost like robot-y, like futuristic, like matrixy type of sole. And then kind of throughout the actual shoe, there's just leather bits and then there's almost like this hard plastic type of situation going on. And then it just has some Prada branding throughout the shoe in the front of the tongue part as well as in the back. So in the back it says Prada and then right above it it says Cloud Bus Thunder in the like font and design and logo that Prada used. In the actual shoe as well um, kind of like where your foot would go it actually says Prada too kind of like stamped and embossed in the actual I would say like foot cushion thing whatever it's called and then of course the actual shoe is just composed of like this just a knit fabric kind of again composed throughout the whole shoe but I would say like they're really kind of like star factor of this whole shoe right here and the reason why I've been saying it's so interesting is again like the actual <laughs> freaking sole of this shoe is just crazy again this shoe right here is definitely an acquired taste it's not everyone's cup of tea but I don't know it's just something that I've been really liking and I don't know kind of even just like seeing it on camera and as you guys are seeing the b-roll clips it is a very interesting shoe to look at in my opinion something that I actually didn't get any b-roll footage of but I wanted to mention it the actual Prada shoes does come with two separate dust bags so it's just like a standard almost nylon like material dust bag and it says Prada in the front and then it also has like again the Cloud Bus Thunder like logo and design that they used for this actual shoe I always believe that when you buy something designer especially sneakers it should come with a dust bag because i don't know it's kind of like a nice touch and i always look forward to the dust bag um so this one is definitely a good one all right you guys real quick before we get into the official like unboxing and full review of the Prada Cloud Bus Thunder I want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor Skillshare. For any of you guys who don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is just like such a great online learning community for creators built by creatives to just really help you guys keep learning and thriving in the new year. Skillshare offers just like a wide assortment of all types of courses and classes. One class in particular that I personally have been really liking is a class called Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Design by author and host and stylist, Emily Henderson. I just recently moved into my apartment in downtown Seattle is my very first space. And with that being said, I definitely wanted to do my first apartment right. I wanted to just, you know, make sure that like everything kind of, you know, flowed nicely. It was kind of like I wanted to curate a space that helped me stay creative. So the course by Emily Henderson that I just talked about is a great course that I was kind of like listening to she kind of just breaks down like how to again style your own space without space all the while like keeping the functionality and still adding your own touch and your own finesse like i said skillshare just has so much more other classes and courses that you guys can choose from and the great part about skillshare is it's a great way to learn on your own time you guys already know what it is like life can just get so busy especially in this day and age it's hard to like learn new things when you're so limited on time and skillshare is perfect because you can learn and again dive into these courses on your own time from the convenience of your mobile device not to mention kind of like after calculating everything Skillshare is pretty affordable especially when you compare it to like those in-person courses like at colleges and stuff like that so with all that being said if any of you guys are interested Skillshare is giving away two free months to their unlimited premium access if you go ahead and click the first link in my description box down below that'll again grant you two free months to Skillshare and then after that it's just around ten dollars a month so definitely be sure to check them out and go show them some love 
these Prada Cloud Bus Thunders retail for a very, very, very steep price of 895 US dollars before tax and shipping and all of that jazz. Bruh, honestly, like low key, the price, in my opinion, does not really reflect the actual shoe itself. We're gonna kind of like dive into that a little bit more. But again, I definitely just kind of wanted to throw out the price there, like before we kind of start this video. Kind of starting off with just like my initial thoughts of this shoe like even as i'm looking at it again like it is a very interesting shoe i think again it's kind of one of those things like if you kind of can envision it in your brain with like outfits and stuff and you feel like you can really put some solid looks together i would highly recommend like checking this out but by no means is it like a need or is it like a must-have again this is somewhat of a trendy shoe in my opinion but i do think that they kind of hold like chunky sneakers and chunky boots and just like more bolder pieces and just having fun with fashion is not really necessarily a trend right now but it is something that a lot of people are you know like kind of more down for as of late like and that's what i really like and i appreciate about fashion like i feel like we're kind of going into this new realm where it's like yes it's about like sticking to what you like always like investing in things that you know resonate with you and stuff but i think we're in this space now where a lot of people are again just having more fun with fashion and everyone is down to try new things and this sneaker right here from prada is a prime example of that so another kind of like topic that I wanted to talk about with this shoe right here is the sizing. Yo, you guys, take this in. Like this shoe right here was honestly the hardest shoe that I had to kind of find a size for. So just to kind of give you some backstory, right? I'm usually a size nine or nine and a half in US. Nike, Adidas, Reebok, basically any other shoe when it comes to US, I'm always a size US nine or nine and a half. But if you're regulars here, you guys would know that I'm always about like my Balenciaga tracks. In Balenciaga, I'm a size Euro 41, which is a size US 8. But with these, Prada uses a UK size conversion. So not only did I have trouble kind of understanding like, okay, so is this even gonna fit me? Like, is it true to size? Should I take like a size US 9 and then convert it into a UK sizing? Or should I take my designer shoe size, which is a Euro 41, and then convert it into a U, not US, into a uk size for these shoes so kind of after like talking to everyone who owns this shoe and just kind of doing my own research and stuff i 100 percent say if any of you guys own balenciagas i would say take whatever size you took in your balenciagas and if you guys don't own any balenciagas let's just say if you're a size us 9 i would highly recommend sizing down one full size so i picked this up in a uk 7 which is a size us 8 and with the uk 7 this fits me perfectly like the whole sizing thing was a big struggle for me so i'm super glad that i had a couple homies shout out to my homie daniel at i'm daniel stimmons and shout out to the bro jack at jack the lad on instagram for like just kind of really like helping me like navigate through this shoe right here because honestly like if i didn't kind of like reach out to them i would have been fucked low-key but again i'm super glad that everything like worked out in terms of sizing and stuff of you guys i posted this uh on my instagram and a lot of you guys were like is that even comfortable because it doesn't look like it and honestly i think like because the soles at the bottom is so chunky and it's so big and like it's so like blocky not only does it give you like a nice height because again i'm a short dude like i'm five seven so again we got to get it where we can so these shoes right here definitely give me a nice solid like two inches off of the ground combined with like the height with the actual sole it is a very comfortable shoe to walk on especially with like the knit fabric kind of throughout the shoe it's a really nice kind of shoe when you're walking because it kind of moves with you with the knit kind of fabric it almost kind of feels like a light and breezy shoe which would be perfect for the upcoming spring and summer let's like wrap this video up right here with my final thought and low-key i got a lot to say about this shoe with the price tag of 8.95 us before tax and shipping and stuff i will say I, yes 100 i do think that these shoes are again they're interesting to look at i think it's a very cool pair of shoes and i think that if you're fortunate enough to have the funds to buy this shoe or if you like can go ahead and maybe sell some stuff in your current rotation to get this shoe and you're the type of person that like again you like to try and mix it up you like to try new things i would 100 recommend getting this shoe but what i will say is and i said it before but i'll say it again i don't think that this shoe is a must or a need i personally went ahead and i sold some things in my current wardrobe to get these shoes to make up for the price again even though these shoes are nice and they're cool and like you know they're like a hype shoe or whatever i don't know like i'm a little bit torn because 
even though I like these shoes so much, I don't think that the 895 US price tag reflects this shoe. I don't feel like the thousand dollars in it, if that makes any sense. But nonetheless, um, again, I think if you're kind of again in the position to get a new shoe with a steeper price tag, or if you kind of sell some other bits, and if you are kind of wanting to switch things up and just try something interesting, like I would recommend this shoe. Um, again, I think it's going to be a great shoe for the upcoming spring and summertime. And I'm just super excited to kind of put some outfits together with this shoe right here and even though it didn't necessarily live up to the price tag of the 895 that's just kind of like the bittersweet truth about a lot of designer items you're really just paying for the name and kind of like the whole like branding behind all of again that company and stuff like that so 100 final thoughts this is by no means a must-have or like a need type of shoe if you have the means to cop it i would say fuck it and just get it you know what i'm trying to say all right, you guys, and that is it for my full unboxing, review, and styling of the Prada Cloud Bus Thunder in the all black colorway. Hopefully you guys kind of like enjoyed this video and like somewhat took some inspo away from it, especially with the outfits. Yes, this video was a full review of the Prada shoes, but it could also just be like a video on like how to style all black shoes. I think my outfits in the beginning were a really great example of again, how to style all black shoes, which can be a little tricky sometimes. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, definitely be sure to drop me some love in the comments down below. Much love once again to the team over at Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. If any of you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare and just like, you know, expanding your whole like knowledge and education, I would highly again recommend checking out Skillshare. I'll be sure to leave a link to the classes and courses that I have been liking as of late. And don't forget to check out the first link in my description box down below because Skillshare is giving away two free months to premium unlimited access to their courses and to their website so check them out and go show them some love first link in my description box down below i don't know i feel like if you made it this far appreciate you i don't know how to feel about these shoes like yes they're a banger 100 but they're also like kind of expensive and i don't know if i should return it like so let me know what you think if i should return it or not but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace